How's it going everybody? Hope you're all doing well. So today I want to talk about my upgrades or at least some of the upgrades for my bug out bag or my get home bag. I have several here that I finally implemented into my kit. Some of you are interested in this kind of stuff. So this is like 2024 is like upgrade session. So just to give some context, cool bug out bag. It is also bug out bag and get home bag. So a lot of people have the wrong mindset of like, hey, a bug out bag is something you go off into the wilderness and you literally survive. I don't view it as that. I view as a bug out bag is getting you from your home to your bug out location. So it should be able to sustain you for that amount of time. Now this bag is also a get home bag for me because I often go out to places like this all the time. So I am often 100, 120 miles into mountainous ranges and mountainous regions and stuff like that. So I need to be able to get home. So it tends to be a lot heavier. So my entire bag is 39 pounds. Well, that's a lot because, you know, upwards of 120 miles, mainly that is food, water weight, and that kind of stuff. But I want to talk about some of the upgrades that I've put into this kit this year. So let's just dive into it. So one of the notable upgrades that I finally decided to is actually the Grail um, Ultra Press Titanium. Now this is just kind of a supplemental uh, piece of kit in my opinion. Um, this is not a primary system. I have a water purification kit um, that I dove into very heavily and tested it at Tusk and all this kind of stuff, tweaked it. But this is a good um, on body carry. Now I typically ride it uh, in my kit bag, which I'll show here in a second, but it typically rides um, sideways underneath in a small uh, pouch, which I'll show you here in a second. But this is really good for uh, purifying or filtering water, um, getting a lot of contaminants out of it and then be able to drink. So you can take it from any source around me, dip this in, compress it and then drink, which is fairly nice. So that's why I went to it. Considering water is fairly common where I am, you can find streams very easily. If I was in a different type of state with water limitations, it would probably differ. So remember, this is set up for MetTC, at least for my situation. Next on that is actually a bandolier with magazines in it. Um, I originally had magazines in the kit. Some of you are probably clicking off right now going, oh my gosh, you need a firearm, blah, blah, or you don't need it. Um, I do carry a, an AR with me, mainly because I prepare for the worst case scenario. And especially material, if you've ever heard, you know, hey, you're 72 hours or nine meals away from anarchy. It is very truthful. I've been to third world countries. I see how things are and it kind of scares me at times and is very interesting how they do things and how close or how easy it is to step back into that type of country. So I have methods to it. I prepare for the worst case scenario. It's not like I'm going to need this all the time, but it's nice to have it. I can always ditch these things if I don't need it, but it is just a simple bandolier. It holds four magazines of AR mainly or whatever type of rifle. And it's able just to go over you, which is really nice is, Hey, I can throw this over me and now I have magazines, right? which I can also supplement these in to a different kit, which I'll show here in a second, but it's really nice. It's super lightweight and it holds your magazines fairly well. So I've always thought, at least at this point, that's what I'm upgrading to. Why not? It works extremely well. Next, this one is a clothing item, which is very interesting. And I really, really like this. All right. So this is mesh. Yep. This is from Armadillo and they make different types. I'm actually wearing their, uh, one of theirs actually the uh, thicker one, but it is mesh. This is wool, merino wool mesh or netting. And I was kind of skeptical about this stuff over the last little while. I haven't really heard about it, but I started testing it. Oh my gosh, does this stuff work? I am very surprised. I think it's just kind of a European thing. Americans don't really know about this. Maybe some of you do. I just didn't. And this is um, the FR mesh from Armadillo. Um, they are overseas, but there are allies overseas because I'm American, so it's all good to go. Yes, I want to keep stuff in-house American, but hey, allies work it just as well. This stuff's really good. It's literally, it moisture wicks like crazy. So if you're like hardcore rucking and it's kind of a colder day out like it is today, hey, there's still snow around and I start to perspirate or start to sweat, this material will soak up that sweat and then push it away from my body because all these little openings allow 
uh, you know, evaporation to take effect. I was very surprised on how effective this is. I actually have their, what I was talking about, forget what the name of it is, I'll probably put it up here, but it's their uh, thicker variant. It's like a sweatshirt, but it has it, the mesh is uh, built into it. They've uh, sandwiched it together. This one's just cool because you can add this to any layer that you have currently. So if you have your specialty stuff, just throw that underneath of it and it still works the same. Super cool. Next is another clothing aisle item and it is sock liners. Pretty simple, really lightweight. I have found over the years, I've uh, really kind of back and forth on these, but these things are so thin that they dry out so fast, especially when you get wet feet or something like that. That's why I dedicated went into my bug out bag, get home bag is because they dry out so quick. If my warmer socks are, you know, say soaking wet, throw these on. If these get wet, they dry again, super quickly. All right, so diving in to some of this, you or this kit, some of my subscribers will probably know, and this doesn't seem very new, but I have fully integrated it into my setup, and that is the Full Tang Tactical Kit Bag. Now, I used to run Hill People gear, but I found that it had limitations for what I wanted it to. The Full Tang Tactical Kit Bag, at least this, has a lot of benefits to it. And I have a dedicated video on this, so I'm not gonna go in hardcore detail about it. It's just, this is a modular system. And mainly the issue is with this kit, or not the issue with it, but the problem that it solves with backpacking is where do you put a pistol? When you conceal carry with a backpack, which you pretty much are taken up, right? The waistline is with a belt. Now your shoulders are taken up with those harnesses or the straps that come down. Where do you put a pistol? This solves that. And this allows you to run the pistol up front and pull your hand inside. But the benefit of this, it has compartments in it. So you can have a secondary compartment in here. This is just a map case, but this comes out. So if I need to go more, say, elaborate or tac tactile, this is a magazine carrier with a flap this will insert inside of that and then now you have three magazines that you just modularly scaled up and then you can scale back down because if it's just not that big of a scenario i'm not gonna run magazines across here there's no point i'm just gonna keep the other stuff in my kit or in my bag because i'm like hey it's not that big of a deal but then if it escalates right i'm in the moment okay i'm gonna stash over to the side my gear bag gonna set this up real quick and now i can plus up or scale up the bottom here, this is a hand warmer. Um, on the bottom, this HRT and this Velcro's into the bottom. Super cool, that's why I like the kit bag. And then this is where the grail rides. It actually rides inside of here, right? And then it just, I have a little buckle. So it cinches up and it buckles itself in there. So now it's keeping it warm. So one, the grail doesn't freeze in colder conditions like this because it's warm inside its own pouch, but now it's accessible on my body. So even if I ditch my pack, I still have a method of procuring water because if you don't have water, it's not looking good for you, right? About two days and you're done. So kit bag, really cool. All right, moving on to the next item. I finally made the decision to upgrade to a thermal device. I also have night vision in here, but that's nothing new. Most people know, hey, I run PVS 14s in here, but I went to a thermal monocular. This is an IRAY RH25. This is a 640 um, uh, thermal. It takes in 640, not 1080p because those are getting really expensive. But this thing is a very small handheld unit. I can put it in a pocket and I'm like, hey, I wonder what that is because thermal you can see a little bit better right as in even if you're completely camouflaged out with a good camouflage if you throw up this and look out there like oh wow there's an outline of an individual right and this can see for almost a thousand meters you can you know actually see and observe you know different folks and stuff if they're not using thermal dampening technology which most people aren't you know this is a huge benefit especially at night and that's when i tend to use this kit I'm gonna use the night to my advantage because less people are awake, you know, less threats are gonna be capable or possible around me. I'm gonna have night vision on and then I can flip my night vision out of the way and use thermal and then see in both those spectrums. So this is literally a superpower you can buy. Now also it comes with uh, the two 10, eight, or 18650s and I have a recharge kit in here because you can actually direct plug into here, which is really nice. It gets about four hours worth of use. So I have, Typically, 
um, three batteries and then I can rotate out if I need to, which more than likely I'm not gonna be using this constant, but it'll get me through the night and then I can recharge. So the next, this is also kind of an older device, but I finally integrated 100% to the kit, which is the H2 Go Global. So this is a water disinfectant tool. So this is also electronic, it has a solar panel on it, but it creates chlorine, uh, a chlorine solution from common salt. So instead of using water purification tabs, like if you wanna take those viruses and stuff out of your water, you're concerned about it, this will create 20, 10, five, two, or one liter solution that you can dump into a water bottle or anything like that, and it'll you know, kill all that um, the negative stuff in it. And this is pretty much an indefinite. As long as you have salt and, and sun, this is an indefinite kit for killing everything in your water with time, which is really cool. I really like these especially paired with other systems, and I have a different water purification kit, but I'm just saying it really covers down, especially if you are concerned and you're pulling from a very muddy pool, maybe with a lot of cattle or something in it, which I am in an environment that has a lot of cattle, so I want to be able to filter and then also kill everything out, so here is one of those items. Next is kind of a, an odd one, and it is a 12-hour candle, which is kind of weird. It's one of those emergency candles. People are like, oh, that's kind of weird. Why would you do that? Well, I've found that over my years, I've always had a candle, but I've never really, like I've always had a smaller one, but I went to a larger one, mainly because it's easier to light a candle and then try to get a fire going without using your fire starting capabilities over and over and over again. Plus in a pinch, this can warm you up, especially draping the poncho on you, putting this down. Yes, it's one candela, I guess you could say, but once you seal it up, but if you're pretty well inside, you can actually feel the heat off this. You can warm your fingers up and whatnot, especially if you put that uh, tarp over you, so the thermal signature, right? If someone else is trying to find you, right? You can kind of seal that up, get warm a little bit, and then keep pressing on. It's very lightweight, but 12 hours. Plus you can light a lot of fires with it. So if you light this and you're like, hey, I just can't get this wet material to keep going. I'm not gonna keep using my ferro rod over and over again, wearing it down. This would be a good, uh, item to look into. Two more items left. All right, so lastly, or not lastly, second to last, is um, a scrim, pack scrim, to go over the top of my bag to conceal it more. Yes, I've been using this quite a bit off and on, but I've been really testing it. Officially, a, it is a part of my kit now. I've abused it, it works. This one is a Bees Combat Systems one, works really well, I enjoy it. Um, just make sure it is tethered to your pack. I've had twice now that branches have came in here and pulled it off my pack. So since then I put a carabiner and now if it gets pulled off, it, it still attaches and I'm like, okay, I gotta put it back. It doesn't happen that often, but I have noticed it. So it's like one of those things, hey, I gotta cover down. Uh, it's, it is what it is. All right, so now lastly, it is a jacket, but this one is a reversible jacket. So this is a black wooby Pretty much it's made out of the same material as a wooby or a poncho liner, which me being in the military, I love poncho liners a lot because they've got me through a lot of tough times and stupid stuff like that. But it is also a cool thing is it's reversible. So this one's the Fluctarn, I think is what it's considered, which works fairly well. They didn't have any variants at the time that I was purchasing it. Um, I forget who makes this. This is Savage Tactical or something along those lines. If not, I'll leave it up in the description box below. So yeah, um, I like the, the ability to go back and forth to, between your environment. Say you're getting into a more urban setting, hey, just roll it for black because if you go camouflage in an urban setting, you might stand out. Same with the pack scrim, right? You can put this over top, cool in, a dark, in an environment like this, you're concealed, but then as soon as you start getting in around people and it's, you know, worst case scenario here, you don't want to stand out as much as you can. So, hey, take this thing, flip this thing inside out, and now you're black on a black backpack, look like a hiker, right? You can stash other stuff and then you kind of just blend into this guy looks like he was a hiker and just showed up, right? Having that modula modularity or scalability, just like the full tank tactical kit, is very essential in my opinion. Your opinion may differ and that's okay. I am putting these in because it's based on what I do for me, what's beneficial for me, that's all it is. So your situation, again, 
may be completely different and that's okay. I'm just trying to give some recommendations or show you, hey, this is, this is what's working for me. This is what I'm using. Maybe it'll give you some ideas. Maybe it'll tell or give you some ideas what not to do because again, your environment may be different. So if you guys want any of these items, I'm gonna link as many as I can, description box below, like through Amazon stuff, which I do get a few cents from. Um, it just helps out the channel, it's free to you. If you are very aggressively not wanting to support this channel, just circumvent my links and just go through Amazon and find another way to get them. I'm honestly not too concerned. It's just, again, it helps out uh, the channel. I make no money off of these, none of these products, I am partners with, or you know, you could buy as many as you want of these and the company isn't sending me money. This is literally just me um, doing this for fun as a hobby or enjoyment and trying to get better at stuff. So I have no agenda. I can talk and say whatever I want about any product I want. It's kind of the nice thing and the beneficial thing. So, yep, that is what it is. Those are my items. So that's kind of this year's upgrades. If you guys would like to see an entire layout, um, definitely let me know. And I could probably lay out my entire bag as of 2024, or as this is coming out, showing you, hey, this is everything in my long range kit. Um, some people care, some people don't. It is what it is. Uh, we have Patreon and PayPal. Patreon gets all behind the scenes stuff, all that fun stuff. So if you consider that, um, even if you don't aren't a paying member of Patreon, if you just go to Patreon, I still release behind the scenes footage for you guys too. If you just get on and take a look, it's free. But if you also want to pay, then you get even more behind the scenes uh, footage and other stuff like that. And early content and deals whenever I find them and you know, stuff like that. But yeah, that's it. So there's my items. So hope you enjoyed this. Hope you found something interesting and worthwhile. Other than that, I'm going to get this stuff packed up and start my hike on out of here. Hope y'all have a great day.